Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's Rachel here from Makers Gonna Learn and boy do we have a great video for you today. But before we get started, I do wanna mention if you have a die cutting machine and you want to invest in your machine and invest in yourself, please click the first link in the description down below and see how you can become a member of Makers Gonna Learn. We run a wonderful die cutting community membership website with over a thousand digital cut files and almost 200 fonts, perfect for any machine that you have that works with PNG and SVG cut files. We have fonts and files for every single occasion that you can think of along with amazing other perks like printable guides, the exclusive Facebook group, free commercial licenses, online workshops, and so, so much more. So if you guys want to learn all about that crafty goodness, click the link down below and become a yearly member, which is our best tier of membership. So go check it out. But guys, today we're gonna to be talking about decal sizing tips, okay? A lot of people are really overwhelmed when they start getting into a HTV and t-shirts and things like that about sizing them properly for the shirt size and making sure they're in the center of the shirt, especially when you are using them to sell for profit. With our membership, Makers Gonna Learn, our yearly members, along with fonts and all the other perks of other memberships, you also get the commercial license free with your yearly membership, which means you can sell the things you make using our cut files. So you guys could make money making t-shirts using our cut files and fonts. So if you're doing that to make money, you really wanna make sure you're doing everything the correct way, sizing everything, making sure it's in the center and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna break it down today and we have a onesie, a toddler shirt, a youth shirt and an adult shirt, just to kind of give you a really wide a range of variety for this, but we do, this is an announcement for all of our wonderful members who might be watching this, we do have another printable guide to go along with our other guides about sizing, decal sizing. It's on the site now, it's in your member resources. You guys will absolutely love it. It has all of these as an example, it has onesies, toddler shirts, youth shirts, and adult shirts, and it depends on the size of the shirt and all kinds of stuff, so we have got that exact PDF for you guys, chock full of information and tips and tricks over on your dashboard in the membership. So if you're a member, head over there and check that out now. It's amazing, you all will not wanna miss that. But we're gonna go into this today with a couple of general little tips and tricks to help you get success from your uh, t-shirts and all of the projects that you use this for. Because it can be tricky depending on the size of your decal, the size of your shirt, you know, and things like that. So let's jump into it. Let's start off with our little onesie here. So what you're gonna need for uh, sizing and making sure your decals are perfect, you're gonna need a measuring tape, and this could be a ruler or any type of measuring tape. This is a Cricut measuring tape from the sewing, like a little sewing kit, but you guys can use any measuring tape, anything that you have just to measure. And then you'll also need an easy press, a heat press, an iron, something like that. We're using our baby easy press today. This is the easy press two, six by seven. And then we're also using an easy press mat. We're using the 16 by 20. This is the biggest mat that they make. We absolutely love this mat for so many reasons. And this really just ensures the perfect project. It takes the heat from the easy press and sends it right back up and it eliminates the need for flipping your project and things like that. It just saves so much time personally for us. So we're gonna start out with our little onesie here and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our iron, first and foremost, and iron out all the wrinkles. It's a great place to start. So we're just gonna take it and iron out all of the wrinkles. It doesn't matter if, if you're gonna iron out wrinkles where you know you're not even gonna put your logo. Just iron out all the wrinkles. It's just gonna save time in the long run, you know. So once you get that all ironed, you can let that cool for just a minute. And once this is nice and cool, we're gonna go ahead and take our measuring tape here and we're gonna measure our onesie. Now, on the wonderful chart our maker's gonna learn, it says that for a 12 month onesie, you want the design anywhere from four to six inches and to place it one inch below the neckline. So it has everything all laid out for you. So all we have to do is follow that amazing guide. So we're just gonna measure four to six inches. Six inches seems a little bit much, but five inches seems perfect. So we're gonna go with five inches on this 12 month onesie and it says to place it one inch below the neckline. 
So one inch below the neckline is right here. So that is where we will place our little um, design here. And it, it does depend on your design. You know, if you have a really big quote, you're going to want to start that higher. If you have a little design, you can put that wherever you want to be. You have to think of how small little babies are and where it would look good on their shirts versus adult shirts and things like that. So that is a really good tip for uh, doing this. So once you have measured it and you've ironed out all of the little um, issues, all the little um, wrinkles, you're just going to place your design after you measure again. And you're going to place your design and take your easy press, heat it, remove the transfer tape, easy peasy. It's as simple as that, guys. So we're done with our onesie, okay? So we're going to set him off to the side. And we're going to get our adorable little toddler t-shirt. Absolutely, it's just so stinking cute. Look at this little t-shirt. I can't wait to have little kiddos that wear shirts as tiny as this. I can't wait. But we're going to take our easy press here and iron out our wrinkles. Remember, start there. It's a good place to start. If you, if you don't use your easy press or your iron much, it kind of gets you familiar with it before you start adding uh, heat transfer vinyl to it. So once all of those wrinkles are out, go ahead and again, let that dry for a little bit. And you can read the size here. This is a 2T. So for a 2T, uh, it is recommended to have a four to five inch design, one to two inches below the neckline. So we're gonna do, we're gonna measure it out just like we did before, four to five inches. And in this case, the max size, which is five inches, looks great on this. And one to two inches below the neckline starts right here. So our uh, little decal is going to be somewhere around here. And again, you guys can make the judgment call if you have a really big um, design or a really small design. Okay, you know, you can place that anywhere that you would like. But rule of thumb for these two T um, toddler shirts is, four to five inches and then one to two inches below the neckline. So that is just a great foolproof way to measure those correctly. Okay, so our little toddler shirt is going to have iron on success. We're going to move along here to our youth shirt. Okay, youth shirts, we're getting into the bigger sizes. We're getting into it being a little bit trickier to work with here. So what's the first thing we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and iron out the wrinkles. No, that is not the first thing that we're going to do on a youth or an adult shirt. We are going to kind of flip the script a little bit and add an extra step here, but it's going to be a step you guys do not want to miss. This is a huge tip for ironing on youth and adult shirts the correct way. So what we're going to do, is we're going to flip our little shirt over, okay? And then we're going to fold him completely in half. And the thing that matters the most here is the shoulders, okay? So right up here, you want these shoulders to be nice and even. And if the shoulders are nice and even, then you're going to move on down and kind of just kind of make sure the rest of your shirt is even. But as long as these uh, shoulders are even, you should have a success. So now we're going to lay that down, fold it how we have it. It's all even. It's nice, nice and even where we want it. Now we're going to take our easy press, okay? And we're going to go ahead and start getting out the wrinkles just like we would. But it happens to be cut in half because we have creased it. So you're probably wondering, why is that cut in half? That's really weird. Well, I promise it'll make sense, guys. So now we're going to flip it the other way, okay? Because there's a couple of wrinkles over here that we want to get to. And we don't want to leave this side out and get it wrinkled because we really want to have project success here. So once you get the wrinkles out, you can flip it over again and kind of open it back up. Now when you open it, you will see a beautiful crease and you know what that is guys. This is the direct perfect center of your t-shirt. This is a foolproof way to get to the center of your shirt every time. Fold it in half, measure those shoulders and you will have a perfect line in the center. Now, this is a youth shirt. It is a youth large. So for a youth large, they recommend six to eight inches for our design. And they also recommend that to be one and a half to two inches from that neckline. So we're going to take our little measuring tool here, our little measuring tape. And they say eight inches is the max here for a large youth shirt. And this looks good. So eight inches would be really, really good. And let's see, two and a half inches from the neck looks good as well. 
So we're looking at a design starting right about here. And then we know the center of our shirt because we have that beautiful creased line. So once you have your decal, you can lay that down and make sure that the decal is on the center, not the ends of the transfer tape, okay? Make sure it's the decal. If you need to trim your transfer tape, you can do that. But a lot of people mistakenly put um, designs in the middle that they think is the middle, but it's actually the middle from one end of the transfer tape to the other end of the transfer tape and not necessarily the actual decal. So just make sure you're dotting all your I's and crossing all your T's there. Use that beautiful little hack to get that crisp line so you know exactly where the center is in your t-shirt and follow along with that wonderful printable guide that we have here. You can have it on your phone, you can have it on your tablet, you can download it and print it out and you can bind it and laminate it, you can add it to this guy, you can do whatever you want with it because we're only adding to our amazing membership. We're only giving you guys more and more. We are never taking away fonts or files from you guys. We are always adding more printable guides and pouring more into your all's crafty success. Again, click the link in the description below, the very first link to see um, all our wonderful membership tiers and how you can become a member. Youth shirt is good. We are done with our youth shirt. And guys, we're gonna move on to the adult shirt, which is exactly the same. It's what we're gonna do uh, with the youth shirt is exactly what we're gonna do with the um, adult shirt. So we're gonna flip it back here, flip it back, and then we're gonna fold it in half. And we're gonna make sure that this neck lines up here. That is what matters to us is that this neck is nice and even. So that looks even here, looks good. Just kind of fan it out a little bit, make sure it's even. Now then, I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit, make sure it's all nice and even. Then we're gonna get our easy press and we're gonna heat, get all the wrinkles out of it, heat it up at the same time. And once you're done with this process, guys, feel free to go through the, um, go through your iron on and uh, on the back side, do not do it on the front side of that iron on. After you're done with your project and you peel your, uh, final decal up, flip your shirt completely around and um, you can get that wrinkle out, that crease that you made down your shirt. It's just a good little hack for that as well. So we're just going in here, heating that shirt up and you can heat it, heat up the bottom, the sleeves, whatever you want to do. We're just going to open this guy back up and see our beautiful center crease. I absolutely love that center crease. It's foolproof every time, guys. It really, really is. And this is an adult um, medium. So this is, um, it's really self-explanatory. It kind of just goes in the same uh, way as the youth does. This um, medium, you can do nine to nine and a half inches in place, three to four inches below the neckline. So if we're looking at nine or nine and a half inches, that's looking pretty good, okay? There's still plenty on either side, but I think we're gonna just stick with eight, okay? I really like between eight and nine. I just think it looks really good for these adult t-shirts. And then two to four inches below the neckline, I think we're gonna do three full inches. So three full inches below the neckline and about eight inches um, wide. And again, you can find your center here and that will be just so handy for you guys, this beautiful center line here. So this is a foolproof way in order to size your shirts and size your decals to um, have them fit well on your shirts and vice versa. And the, chip, the tips and tricks about getting the um, crease in there is ones that you all do not need to forget. It will really help your crafting, especially if you're doing this for a living and you're making money off of it. You really need to make sure that it is all even and in the center. I hope that you all enjoyed these awesome t-shirt sizing tips. I know that it can be very uh, confusing and it can seem really difficult to size your decals to fit your shirts. And maybe if you have a larger shirt, like a, an extra large or a two X or something like that for a client, you really wanna make sure that's in the middle and that it's centered and then it's exactly where it needs to be placed on such a large shirt. And even 
little baby onesies sometimes is a little tricky to size them. So that amazing sizing chart that we have got on the membership site is a game changer. It will change the way that you make money uh, crafting when using HTV and using your decals on your t-shirts. And then you, the more you do it, the more that it will get stuck in your head, guys. Just like some easy press temperatures that you know are memorized in there, it will come naturally the more that you do it. But if you ever get confused, you don't have to worry. You can run over to your Cricut printable guide and you can get those because we have pages of those easy press temperature charts for you guys. And you don't ever have to worry about forgetting the sizing decal chart either because that is there. You can download it, print it, do whatever you'd like with it, except give it out to friends, guys. This is a membership perk of a great membership benefit okay and it is for members only which is why if you guys want to become a member click the first link down below and see what you're missing our yearly members get access to almost 200 fonts along with everything else our other members get plus that free commercial license and some online e-courses that you will not want to miss go check that out guys but i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did give us a like and leave us a comment down below and let us know uh, what you would like to see next and let us know any questions you have i would love to get back to you on those guys i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next video bye